now see this is the question and uh, this question we will solve and in this question we are to we are to prepare cash cash flow from operating activity and by applying which method indirect method on the screen see there is income statement income statement is given and in income statement there are uh, there is sales sale is there cost of goods sold less cost of goods sold then we have gross profit okay gross profit how much dollar forty thousand and then we added what profit on sale of furniture how much ten thousand profit on sale of furniture ten thousand and then our total income is fifty thousand and from that total income we subtracted our expenses total of the expenses total of the expenses is uh, 30,000 so 50 minus 30,000 this is our net profit 20,000 and this is what net profit before tax and then we subtracted tax provided how much 10,000 so 20,000 minus 10,000 so the remaining amount how much 10,000 and this is what net profit after tax yeah so this is our income statement and apart from this income statement you know there is a uh, one extract extract of current assets and current liabilities extract of the balance sheet okay extract of balance sheet uh, in the bracket it is given details of current assets and current liabilities so here we have details of current assets and current liabilities now see uh, which items are there cash is there bank uh, balance is there account receivables are there stock is there account payables are there outstanding wages prepaid salaries and tax provision opening values are given as well as closing values are given so this is the question and now what we are to do we are to prepare cash flow from operating activity and by applying which method indirect method and let me tell you that indirect method is the only important one in the examination you are to follow only indirect method so see i am going to uh, solve this question cash flow from operating activity and which method we are to follow indirect method we are following indirect method yeah now see what we will do in the indirect method in the indirect method first we will take a, you know profit as a base so what is uh, what is our profit profit before tax uh, that profit we will take Pref profit profit before tax is 20,000 isn't it this is the profit before tax 20,000 then we subtracted tax and then we got net profit before tax so this 20,000 is what profit before tax this this 20,000 so we will start our solution with this 20,000 okay so I will write here net profit before tax and what is the amount the amount is you know twenty thousand dollar and now we will add we will add what non cash and non operating item non non cash non cash and non operating item non operating items and those items we will consider due to which you know uh, our profit uh, decreased so net profit twenty thousand we have considered now see to this net profit we will add what non cash and non operating item yeah yeah so see here in the question so see bad debts bad debts is what non cash item isn't it and what is the amount of bad debts 2000 2000 is the amount yeah bad debts is one non cash item depreciation is also non cash item getting my point we are to remove the effect of non operating and non cash item so here in this question in this example bad debts and depreciation these are what these both are what non cash item and due to these items yeah these are non cash item bad debts how much bad debts is 2000 and uh, what is the amount of depreciation depreciation is also how much 4000 the amount of depreciation is 4000 and tell me due, due to these two items my net profit decreased or increased decrease now so now we will add back now we will increase my net profit because due to these these items my net profit decreased in the income statement so while preparing cash flow from operating activity we will increase our net profit with these figures so i will add bad debts 
bed dates and what is the amount of bed dates 2000 and then one more item depreciation depreciation what is the amount of depreciation 4000 so what is the total amount 6000 total 6000 i have to add so i have to add total 6000 and why i am why i am adding these two figures because these two uh, these two figures are non cash item and due to this item my my profit already decreased so while preparing cash flow from operating activity i have to increase uh, my uh, you know net profit again okay so that's why i will add uh, you know these bad debts and depreciation total 6000 so after addition see what will be the result so the result will be 26000 yeah 20000 plus 6000 26000 yeah now see the question again <coughs> see one more uh, non operating item is there see here this this profit on sale of furniture this item profit on sale of furniture are you getting profit on sale of furniture How, what is the amount this is the amount of profit on sale of furniture dollar 10000 yeah 10000 dollars so see now selling furniture is which activity we, we sold furniture during the year and due to that uh, sale of furniture we earned profit 10000 and that you know 10,000 I considered in the income statement and due to that you know now my total income is 50,000 I considered that 10,000 that's why my total income is now 50,000 isn't it now see selling furniture is not operating activity selling furniture is an investing activity this this is not operating activity getting my point but due to, but due to this transaction but due to this item see my profit increased now earlier my profit was 40,000 now uh, it is increased up to 50,000 isn't it so what I will do due to this non operating this is non operating item and due to this my profit increased so what I will do I will decrease this amount less less and the amount is how much 10,000 so 10,000 I have to subtract yeah so just a minute let's see the result 26 minus 10,000 we will get 16,000 okay this is this is this 16,000 is what this 16,000 is operating operating profit before working capital changes working capital changes yeah this 60 this 16000 is net operating profit before working capital changes and now we are to show the effect of change in current assets and current liabilities the first item see cash so cash we will not consider so see cash we will not consider bank we will not consider because these two are what cash and cash equivalent so except these two items rest of the current assets and current liabilities we will consider so see current uh, see account receivables what is the opening value 5000 8000 isn't it and what is the cl closing value 10000 opening value 8000 and closing value is 10000 so during the year tell me what happened account receivables increased by 2000 isn't it during the year account receivables increased by 2000 so increase in current assets what we will do we will subtract if there is if there is increase in current assets then we will subtract that amount isn't it in the cash flow from operating activity so see um, increase increase in account receivables and what is the amount 2000 na? so 2000 we will subtract so minus 2000 increase in current assets so that amount we will decrease so minus 2000 okay yeah now see the next item after account receivable tell me which item is there stock is there and stock is also current asset stock stock or you can say inventory what is the opening value 15000 closing value how much 12000 isn't it o opening value was 15000 and closing value is 12000 so tell me what happened during the year stock stock increased or decreased decreased by 3000 so decrease in current asset means increase in cash and cash equivalent so decrease in stock decrease in stock 
how much 3000 so that 3000 we will add here understood yeah now see next after stock tell me which item is there account payables and account payable is liability and liability has you know positive relation with the cash and cash equivalent i explained you earlier so in this example what is the amount of account receivables uh, account payable sorry opening value is 7000 and closing value is 9000 closing value is 9000 so it means uh, during the year account during the year account payables increased by 2000 isn't it so increase in current liability means increase in cash and cash equivalent positive connection same positive correlation increase in account payables and what is the increase in account payables 2000 isn't it yeah 2000 so we will increase the cash and cash equivalent 2000 yeah now after account payables tell me which item is there outstanding wages isn't it yeah and out outstanding wages is also current liabilities yeah opening value is 2000 and closing value is 3000 it means account uh, outstanding wages increased by 1000 outstanding wages increased by 1000 isn't it so again there is the increase in cash and cash equivalent because outstanding wages is current liability outstanding wages so 1000 positive now next item prepaid sell prepaid salary and prepaid salaries are what current assets isn't it so opening value 1500 closing value 2000 so prepaid salary increased during the year by 500 and prepaid salary is what current asset and if there is increase in current asset then cash and cash equivalent we are to decrease opposite connects so increase in increase in prepaid salaries and how much so that we are to decrease so minus 500 now after doing this see yeah yeah see there is positive connection between current liability and cash and cash equivalent if current liability increase increases then cash and cash equivalent will also increase okay see account pay account payable is current liability increase in account payable so i added that figure but in case of current assets except cash and cash equivalent in case of current assets what we will do we will treat it reversely oppositely if increase in account if increase is there in current asset then we will subtract that okay if decrease is there in current asset then that we will add opposite okay so to this 16,000 we will add all these things so our final answer is what 19,500 now one more thing we have to consider okay and what is that that is payment of tax so how much tax we pay during the year that we have to you know compute so see in the question so what is the opening tax provision tell me 3000 opening tax provision yeah and during the year see we provided tax provided how much tax we provided during the year? 10,000, isn't it? Opening provision 3,000 and during the year we provided 10,000. It means a closing value should be 13,000, isn't it? But in the question they are telling that a closing value is only 4,000. It means 9,000 we paid during the year towards tax. Tax paid. Understood? So what is the amount of tax paid? 9,000. So that uh, amount we are to subtract the last uh, item okay so less tax paid tax paid during the year and how much i paid tax 9000 okay so this we are to subtract and after subtracting see what is the result 19500 minus 9000 so the result is 10500 and this 10500 is what net cash from operating activity net cash from operating activity this is our final answer